Hello, Aquarius, Geminis, and Libras. You guys were, well, Libra was in Pisces reading, so you may want to check out the water sign, love message, but um, welcome to your love messages, water, I mean, I'm sorry, air signs at Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, all right? So this is where I'm taking a look to see what's going on um, for your love life at this time. This will resonate for Aquarius, Gemini, Libra placement. And let's go ahead and get started and see what's going on for you guys in love, okay? What is the love message for it? my air signs here? This can also resonate if you're a cross watcher connected to an air sign. So what are the messages here for my air signs? Thank you so much. What do we have for you guys? All right, the moon. <laughs> the king of cups and the three of cups. I was just about to say something isn't what it seems, okay? Water energy, by the way, because y'all were in a, a water science reading. So Scorpio, Pisces here. Queen of Pentacles. Someone wants to reunite with you, but they're not saying it. Um, the Hierophant. The next time you see this person could be a celebration, a holiday, a birthday. And I feel like they have a big offer for you that's going to shock you. The Tower here. The Three of Swords. What's going on for air signs? Thank you. And the King of Pentacles. So right off the bat, I have two kings and a queen. So just symbolically, there could be third party energy here. Also, the three of cups. OK, um, there are counterparts. So let's break it down. OK, we got the eight of swords, which came through in the water sign reading. So again, y'all might be dealing with a water sign here. The eight of swords. I'm getting because <laughs> this is your energy air sign. There's something you have to do, but you don't want to do it. You're trying to find a way out of it. You're talking yourself out of it, okay? Um, a lot of you are talking yourself out of expressing yourself to someone because you could feel like they have a third party. Um, there are some air signs here that could be in a third party, um, but I do feel strongly that there's a encounter coming in and I feel like this encounter is going to be about someone expressing their feelings wanting to be with someone, they're going to use this opportunity, whether it's like, because at the time of this reading, Thanksgiving is coming, but at the, at that whatever this, uh, the celebration is, they're going to use that opportunity to make some sort of offer to you. Now, for some of you, I do get there's an offer being rejected. So there's an offer coming in. There's an offer being rejected. The reason that offer is rejected is because it looks as if there's somebody who already has somebody. So if the person expressing themselves to you or wanting to express themselves to you, they want to come out of hiding with the moon here, it may be too late for them, basically, because you could already be connected to someone. So let's break these down and see where this really goes. But someone has hidden feelings for a person here. And, um, you know, just wherever you are in this, you can have hidden feelings, but it looks like a masculine energy has hidden feelings for someone and they're ready to express it. There is someone else in the picture though. However, that plays out in the situation. So the moon, this is, there's something happening, something going on. Uh, we have some dark energies here, the moon, the tower, the three of swords. There's definitely like some type of uh, love triangle. Somebody's jilted. Somebody's getting their heart broken in this energy. Um, what, why is the moon here? Air signs, you could be breaking someone's heart to be with someone else. Hmm. The three of swords with the moon. Well, many of you are, this is what you don't want to do. Eight of swords. This is what you're trying to avoid doing. I almost feel like putting the final sword in someone's heart. And so there's something that you've been hiding or keeping to yourself. Um, I feel like you have been trying to distance yourself from someone who feels like they may be pursuing you or wanting to, to come back into your life. 
Um, I'm just not getting that there's room for this person anymore because you guys feel like you're in love. You're involved with someone. And so you're about to hurt someone's feelings. Some of you can feel this person hurting. Um, this could be a water sign, king of cups here. It looks as if they're going to invite you somewhere. It looks as if they are going to uh, make an offer to reconnect with you. But what this person wants is to be with you. Make no mistake. Somebody coming in wants to be with you. The reason why some of you cannot or will not be with this person is because you've already committed elsewhere. What's the King of Cups? There's already a relationship. It's the King of Pentacles. So you're giving the energy of the King of Pentacles abundant, successful, desirable. And this person can't get you off of their mind. They can't escape you. But, and they're about to make you an offer for sure. <laughs> You're getting an offer from somewhere, uh, air signs, okay? Uh, Knight of Pentacles here. We have Taurus. Uh, yeah, it's a love offer. It's one that somebody has been planning for a long time. This love offer feels like somebody telling you how they feel about you. It also feels like someone going, because I feel like this about you, air sign, I want to be with you. I want to uh, commit to you. I want to prove to you that I want to be with you. What's <laughs> the three of cups is giving me very much somebody is trying to they don't want to what's the three of cups <laughs> it's the three of cups it's like I can't escape the message it is what it is somebody is getting cut off all right the king the knight of swords here is about to come in with the brutal truth to someone about a third party. Somebody's definitely been moving on. <sighs> there's an invitation coming in to like celebrate something and there's going to be the truth about why somebody can't make it or something. Yeah, there's the five of swords. So the energy that I get, um, air signs, you guys have to tell somebody the truth. You have to like reject someone and you've been avoiding this. You haven't been wanting to hurt someone. But what I'm getting is that this person is is expecting to like reunite with you and it's going to be all good. And you feel solidly loyal and committed to someone else. You're not even interested in what's happening here. Like this person is kind of like, let's have a party. This almost feels like the energy of somebody that's like, let's do the things we used to do. Let's go have fun. Let's go, you know, hook up something like that with these three of cups. Let's go drink. And you're in a totally different mindset. You're settled down. What's the queen of pen? You've outgrown someone while this person still has their eye on you. So page of wands, yeah, you've outgrown this energy. Look at that. Page of wands with the queen of pentacles. You're not even looking at this person anymore. You're trying to like look at them as a friend. And again, king of swords, that knight of swords energy that came through was the same vibe. It's time to tell someone the truth. It really is time to stop like beating around the bushes. And again, nine of swords, you're, you haven't been wanting to hurt someone. I get it. But somebody is thinking that they're on your level or that they can make like a bare minimum offer to you and you're just not in that space. Somebody sees you as their counterpart and I feel like you're looking in a totally different direction dealing with somebody else as your counterpart. Somebody's feelings are about to get hurt. The Hierophant with the Tower and the Three of Swords because it's hard not to see these energies together. Someone almost like with that Hierophant, someone feels like they're kind of like, fine, I'll do anything. I'll conform. I'll, I'll compromise. But it's too late. The Tower with the Three of Swords feels like whatever this person, like they try to clean themselves up. That's what I get. They try to clean themselves up. They invite you somewhere. They're trying to make themselves a, a, a 
come through as more appealing to you and what they're not aware of with the moon energy, because you haven't been telling them the truth, is that you're no longer interested. It's not going to work. What's the Hierophant? Somebody is still loyal to you and you have moved on. Literally, the Knight of Swords. You're standing up for the relationship or the person that you do want to be with, though. This could be an argument about to come in. What's this Knight of Swords? Now I want to see what this is. The Four of Wands. What, look, you're standing up for a relationship that you're actually in or wanting to be in. So this is like you dating someone new and your ex coming back. And instead of you going back to the ex, like something you may have done, you're like, nah, I'm going to like, I'm, I'm committed. I'm going to be with this person who's treating me right, right? Who didn't have to like, who I didn't have to wait for them to clean themselves up and wait for them to do what I needed them to do. So that's the dilemma. That's what this is, the moon. You don't know how badly somebody is hurting not being with you, but they're about to come in and invite you somewhere or something, tell you how they feel. They still want to be with you. They still see you guys being together. You may even see them at an event, but you could be with your person, <laughs> okay? Or somehow they're going to see the person that you, you're with. So the holidays are about to expose some things because what I'm getting is that the tower, you're not leaving your path. And your path is either you're committed and devoted to yourself, your career, your purpose, or you are committed to a person who feels like they're doing what you need them to do as a partner or both. What's the tower? The Ace of Pentacles. This revelation is, um, it is an opportunity though to start your life over. Some of you have been like kind of held back or feeling held back. That's the Eight of Swords. You're not really stuck. You're just like, man, I can't do this. I can't say this. I don't want it. But Life has a way of interjecting here. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make this person see you with this new person. I'm going to, you know, find a way to reveal everything that's going on since you can't do it. It is an opportunity, though. Um, the three of swords. Yeah, with the five of wands. So there is an argument coming in. <sighs> so the energy that I get is that. Somebody takes an opportunity that they find. So you're finding out. So however this goes, because technically you don't show up that much. So it could be somebody finding something out about you, but you could absolutely be finding something out about this person. It is about a third party. Somebody has been seriously dealing with someone while playing games with the other person or while trying to distance themselves from the other person, but not really telling them why, which which is where the mind games come in, right? Um, somebody knows that they're not being told the truth. This person is going to be persistent, feeling like they're coming towards you with an invitation. Hey, come meet me at this event, something like that. This person finds out in a shocking way that you do have someone new or that that you've moved on with your life and out of hurt, out of pain, they strike. Whether this is with words or with like, um, you know, some type of altercation. It just feels like you're out of reach. You're out of this person's reach though. King of Pentacles here. And you're being, um, like I said, somebody's defending someone so you're being defended or you're defending someone you're standing on business what's the king of pentacles two of swords i feel like this is you refusing to give this person any answers because that's exactly what the altercation feels like it's about three of swords five of wands um this person was willing to compete for your heart. They may not realize that you're already taken the horrify here and you're refusing to give this person any answers. What is this? Um, let's see. What is this two of swords with the king of pentacles? Yep. Nine of wands. 
you want this person to stay away from you. I mean, this is where it could get ugly. You know, they're trying to be persistent, trying to get information from you. Um, the two of swords with the nine of wands is you make, this is, you know, you basically feeling like I don't owe you anything, but I'm not going to let you, you know, sort of mess up something that I'm building because that King of Pentacles has built something and is continuing to build. And so you guys have built something or you have somebody building something with you and it feels as if there's this third party energy. Let me just clarify these two, three of cups. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory um, page of pentacles, but this, yeah, the third party, whoever they are is coming in with an offer. It's somebody who wants to be back with you while you're dealing with, with someone or somebody who wants to be back with your person while they're dealing with you. And they come in with this offer. Um, they're even really like, kind of like losing dignity because with this, I'll, I'll be honest with these two, three of cups, I got somebody who was kind of like, you could date both of us. Three of Pentacles. Their offer feels like something really humiliating, but they're going to try to make it work. And it does feel as if that it just doesn't interest you guys. I feel like somebody says something like, why not just deal with both of us? Why not just date both of us? And they're talking to a King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles type energy. Like, go ahead with that. You know, like, I'm not into that. What's the page of wands with this Queen of Pentacles? Nine of Swords. You know, whatever this person is offering, I feel like you guys kind of realized their immaturity a long time ago. I think a lot of you are going to be in a space regretting that you dealt with this person or, or offered them anything because they're coming in to kind of threaten something that you have. And again, you're, you're on your defenses. So I don't feel like you're going to let them. Um, somebody may try to show up to a family event. Okay, so just be mindful of that. Some of them is because they were invited by a mutual friend or family member. So just be careful of that. Make sure you ask who all is going because they're going to use that opportunity to be like, now I can corner you. Now I can force you to give me the answers. I feel like you've been avoiding me about um, air sign. Okay, so you guys have Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio in this reading. All right. Yeah, that's basically what we have here. They don't have to be just those signs, but those are the strongest energy showing up. So air signs, that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.